Hi guys, it's me Blanche with Feast in the Middle East where I empower you to take charge of your health with authentic and easy Middle Eastern food. And I thought I would do a three-part series based on one ingredient that I find to be super exciting and that is pomegranate molasses. There's two kinds that you could buy in the market. So this is the pomegranate molasses and this is pomegranate concentrate. The only difference is the molasses has a bit more sugar whereas the concentrate is has no sugar. So it's gonna be a bit more tart. I like the molasses because I like that little bit of added sweetness and it's basically pomegranate juice that's been cooked down to a nice syrupy consistency and it's great in salad dressings and, and salads. Um, as a glaze for meats and in desserts. So today I'm going to make a pilaf made out of bulgur and it has uh, pomegranate, pistachio, and sultanas, which are the golden raisins, which I love. Now, I'm kind of all quinoa out. How about you guys? Like quinoa is in everything and I like quinoa as much as the next person, but sometimes I wanna mix it up. So I decided to use bulgur wheat. Now bulgur wheat is huge in the Middle East. Look at this, this is beautiful. I already cooked it. So if you follow package directions, I use chicken broth, you could use water or vegetarian broth, but basically one cup of bulgur wheat to one and a quarter cup of liquid, whatever liquid you choose. Usually the directions are on the package. Um, this is Sadaf brand, um, it's bulgur number three, which is the biggest grain. There's one, two, and three. The one is the finest one, usually used in tabula. This is number three, which I use in the pilaf. And because you guys have been so good to me, with all of you subscribers surpassing 10,000, if you go to sadaf.com, use my name Blanche as a coupon code, you'll get 10% off. So a lot of you have been asking me where do I get a lot of the products that I use in my show because some of you don't have Middle Eastern markets near you. I love sadaf.com because I know I'm getting a good quality product every time and their stuff originates in the Middle East where the soil's different, so the food tastes different the way I was accustomed to whenever I visited the Middle East. It gives it that extra authentic flavor, which I love. So you can go to sadaf.com, get your coupon code, and you can cook like me, okay? So I already made the bulgur wheat to save some time for you guys. What I love about bulgur wheat is it's got seven grams of fiber, and it's got a good amount of protein too, like about five grams of protein. It's got a nutty flavor and a really light texture. I love the consistency of it. And this salad is great because you could eat it hot or cold. Now to make the dressing for the bulgur wheat, I've, it's so easy, it's ridiculous, okay guys? So I'm just gonna use uh, two tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil. There's one and two tablespoons. And to that, I'm going to add the pomegranate molasses that I was telling you about. And so now you could look at this texture. I love it. So it adds a, like a nice color too. Look at that, isn't that beautiful? I love pomegranate molasses. And one more item I'm gonna add is honey. Uh, this is optional, but I love the sweet flavor. And I usually buy my honey from the farmer's market because I know it's the best quality. It's not gonna have high fructose corn syrup. And so one tablespoon of honey. And then what I'm gonna do is just whisk it, right? Just like that. That's the easiest dressing in the whole wide world, guys. It's right here. If you wanna add more oil, add more oil. If you want more molasses, add more molasses. It's really up to your taste preference. First of all, I'm gonna add salt and pepper to the bulgur wheat to taste. I like to use Himalayan pink salt because it has uh, vitamins and minerals that have been preserved in it. I never use like table salt. I only use the pink salt. And of course, um, some black pepper to taste. And now I'm going to stir in this dressing all the way around. Make sure you get every last bit. Make sure that your uh, bulgur wheat is cooled off before you work with it because if you do this while the bulgur wheat's hot, it might get a little too lumpy and sticky. Um, just make sure you cool it off before you add the rest of the dressing. Okay, and so for the rest of the salad, it's very, very simple. I've got a cup of chopped parsley, about a quarter cup of chopped mint, a half a cup of fresh pomegranate see, pomegranates, um, I have a half a cup of pistachios, and to add another sweet texture and flavor, I'm gonna put these sultanas, which are these golden raisins, 
The reason why I like this particular brand, Sadaf brand, is because look how big these raisins are. They're huge. So what we're gonna do is add all of this onto the salad. So a half a cup of pistachios, gonna add some nice crunch and texture, and the mint is gonna give it a nice fresh flavor. Let's add it all in there. And the parsley also adds some nice freshness to it. I love parsley. Parsley makes everything taste better. It's like the basil of the Middle East. I mean, we put it in everything. And of course, the pomegranate seeds. And now let's add some sultanas. It really depends on how sweet you want it. I don't add too much. I'll just add, you know, just a few. You could add smaller ones if you want. It just gives a nice surprise and flavor and texture as you eat it. And now we're just gonna toss it like that. This is the perfect picnic salad. It's not perishable. It goes great with chicken or fish, or if you wanna veganize it, you could add some tofu to it or just eat it the way it is. It's got plenty of protein as it is with the pistachios added to it. So now let's plate it here for you guys. You could really get an essence of the beautiful colors. I love the colors of this. I mean, this is a great, um, salad for summer, but it's also great for fall and even uh, around Christmas time. So now let's plate it here for you guys. You could really get an essence of the beautiful colors. I love the colors of this. I mean, this is a great salad for summer, but it's also great for fall and even uh, around Christmas time with the red and green in there. And it's so ridiculously healthy. It's got antioxidants from the pomegranate. I mean, look at how beautiful that is. Isn't that beautiful? So thank you for joining me here on Feast in the Middle East. To get more recipes just like this, as soon as I upload them, please click on that subscribe button. You could join me on Instagram at Blanche Media and on, on Facebook at Blanche's Feast in the Middle East. I love interacting with you. Tell me if you like this recipe or want more salad-based recipes. And again, you want a lot of the ingredients for this, just go to sadaf.com, enter B-L-A-N-C-H-E, my name, in the coupon code, and you'll get 10% off. Until next time, sahtain. I think I'm gonna take a bite of this before I serve it to everybody else. Mmm. Mmm. Mmm, 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 mmm.